Hello, this is Dr. Leo at Lee Time. Yeast problem is one of the common disease for women and oral thrush. It's caused by Candida albicans fungi. Its symptoms include irritation, rash, intensive itchiness, and pain. And in this video, I'll explain evidence-based natural remedy for treating the yeast problem by using oregano herbs. Candida albicans is a yeast that occurs in our body naturally. Under the normal condition, our body can have a good control, but if there is an imbalance, Candida albicans can outgrow and cause the yeast problems. Essential oils as approved have uh, antibacterial and antifungal properties. There are medical studies that use uh, Candida albicans to test the inhibition abilities of uh, different essential oils. They compared uh, 14 different essential oils and fixed the oil and used the inhibition zone diameter to measure their ability of uh, different oils to inhibit the growth of uh, Candida albicans. The greater inhibition zone diameter means the same amount of oil can prevent the growth of Candida albicans in a larger area. So the bigger number means the more powerful of that oil. It is obvious oregano essential oil has the best ability to prevent the growth of a candida albicans. And the thyme is the number four largest one to control the growth of a candida albicans. Another study that compare uh, two species of uh, oregano. One is uh, oregonum uh, vulgar, and the other one is uh, oregonum uh, majorum. They measure the minimum of fungicidal concentration of these two different species essential oil. Minimum fungicidal concentration is a parameter by measuring the minimum concentration of the oil controlling the candida albicans growth. The larger number means you have to use higher concentration. The oregonum vulgar has a minimum fungicidal concentration is uh, one of the 50, that is a 2%. It is way smaller than the 10% of the other one. So if we choose the oregano species to control the growth of a candida albicans, use the vulgar one. What makes oregano so special? One of the reasons is uh, its chemical composition. Oregano essential oil has a major chemical is Cavacro and Simo. And one study, they measure over 14% Cavacro and over 12% Simo. Both of the chemicals have a strong ability to inhibit the growth of uh, Candida albicans. And that makes the oregano essential oil a good candidate to treat uh, the yeast problems. And for the same reason, the time has a great opportunity to control the growth of a candida albicans because it has the main chemical composition of a simo. Not only oregano essential oil, but also its hydrosols have been proved to have a strong ability to inhibit the growth of a bacteria. A study they measure a hydrosols made from three different oregano species including vulgar, majorum, and all of them showed a strong ability to prohibit the growth of uh, four different bacteria, including E. coli. In my previous video, I showed the difference between the herb tea and hydrosol. The tea always have a color, but hydrosol doesn't. The reason because the tea is extracting the water-soluble chemicals, including the dye chemical, but the hydrosol contain 
the similar composition as its essential oil that is a volatile compounds. And this difference in the chemical composition makes a difference of a tea and hydrosols antibacteria properties. A study they compare the tea is made from oregano compared with its essential oil. They were using seven different bacteria and they found that teas have no effect to treat all of these bacteria, but oregano essential oil has very powerful ability to inhibit all of the seven tested samples. Therefore, in order to control the yeast problem, don't use a tea, but use oregano essential oil and hydrosol. Now I'm going to demonstrate you how to make oregano essential oil and hydrosol by doing steam distillation. I'm using the dry oregano leaves. Uh, my oregano is uh, oregano uh, vulgar. About how to use essential oil and hydrosol, please visit our website. I have a free blog introduce you how to make a lotion, liquid soaps by using this natural herb extract. Thank you for watching. If you have an interest in knowing more about herbs, how to use them and their benefits, please subscribe to the channel. And this is Dr. Liu at the lead time. See you next time.